So we all know that probiotics are live bacteria and yeast. Now, the problem is we always associate bacteria as germs that cause diseases. However, we have to understand that our own body is kept healthy because of the balance of both good and the bad bacteria. So the question is, what then are these probiotics? Are they really good for my health? Let's watch this. Probiotics are made of good live bacteria and or yeast that are actually naturally occurring or live in our bodies. So when you get an infection, there's more bad bacteria than good, and this bad bacteria knocks your system out of balance. Now, to the rescue are your good bacteria, which helps keep the balance by eliminating the extra bad bacteria. So in a way, taking probiotics are a helpful way of adding good bacteria to your body. Now, in general, probiotics are part of a larger community called the microbiome. Microbiome is made up of microbes, which are a combination of different microbes like bacteria, fungi, and viruses. Now, how do these probiotics work? Now, apparently, when you take unnecessary antibiotics. That's one way of losing the good bacteria plus the bad bacteria. So unnecessarily taking antibiotics is not really good for your health. So in a way, because we are eliminating some of the good bacteria by taking antibiotics, one way of replacing the good bacteria is by taking probiotics. They help balance your good and bad bacteria to keep your body working the way it should be. Now, the good bacteria that's present in probiotics can actually keep you healthy by supporting your immune function and controlling inflammation. At the same time, it has been shown to also keep your gut to work properly by helping your body digest food, supporting the cells that line your gut to prevent bad bacteria from entering your blood, and they also help in breaking down and absorbing medications. Now, there are actually different kinds of probiotics in the market, but in general, you can find probiotics and sup in supplements and some foods like yogurt. Now, the most common probiotic that you may be taking already, which you didn't know, that is also readily available is the lactobacillus. It's one that you'll find in yogurt and other fermented foods. Now, different strains can help with diarrhea and may help people who can't digest lactose, which is the sugar in milk. But remember, remember this carefully, that the FDA regulates probiotics like food, and therefore, they are not regulated like medications. And therefore, unlike drugs, the makers of probiotic supplements do not need to show that their products are safe or that they work. And therefore, if you see a product with no approved therapeutic claim, it means you take them at your own risk. So in general, probiotic foods and supplements, however, are safe for most people. Although some people I caution with immune system problems or other serious health conditions should not take them. Now, in some cases, you may have some mild side effects, including an upset stomach, diarrhea, gas, and bloating sensation, some patients will also complain of allergic reactions. If you have this, stop taking them and talk to your doctor if you have problems. However, there's also other ways in which we can provide our body with a good bacteria outside of supplements by taking in probiotics via healthy foods. You may already have certain foods in your daily diet that contain probiotics like the fermented foods, in particular that yogurt and pickles, that host a good amount of good bacteria that do benefit your body. 
fermented drinks like fermented tea or fermented dairy milk that introduce extra probiotics into your diet can also provide your body with enough good bacteria. Now, are there certain foods that can be introduced into your diet at any point of the day that contains some good amount of good bacteria, include yogurt, the buttermilk, sourdough bread, cottage cheese, sauerkraut, kimchi, especially those who love Korean food, and miso soup, especially those who love Japanese food. Now, these are the foods that without you knowing it already contains good amount of good bacteria that will be helpful for your body. Now, for those taking probiotic supplements, again, I have to caution you that these are not approved by FDA as medications, meaning the manufacturers do sell them, but we have no way of regulating the amount of good bacteria present in each supplement, specifically also with regard to safety and effectiveness. So in general, if you're asking me how safe are the probiotics, now remember, since these microbes used as probiotics already exist naturally in your body, then probiotic foods and supplements in general are considered safe. However, again, certain patients, there may be problems or allergic reactions, including, of course, some upset stomach and diarrhea. Now, there are also certain patient population wherein we need extra caution when using probiotic supplements. And these include patients with weakened immune system, those undergoing chemotherapy, those with critical illness, or recently had surgery. So a short answer to the question of how safe are probiotics is that for most healthy people, probiotics don't cause any harm. They are, in general, considered safe. My advice, however, is that if you're interested in adding probiotics to your diet, please talk to your healthcare provider first. For starters, you can simply start enjoying probiotics by simply introducing them in your food, including yogurt. I hope this video helps those who have been intrigued with the usefulness and safety of probiotics. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. Stay safe. See you again soon.